Hey YouTube, it's ICU2 here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to quickly fix a Cydia crash on launch. So basically what I'm talking about is as soon as you tap Cydia, it crashes basically. So I wasn't planning on making this video, but it happened to me and I figured why not. And there we go, it crashed. So it could be right before it says reloading data or it could be after. So basically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to be able to SSH into your device. Now you can do this via your computer's SSH or you can do this via iFile on your iDevice Direct. So I'm just going to do it on my computer. So basically just log into it. And now that you're logged in, you're going to go back to... And then once that bar, you're going to go to lib. And then inside of lib, you're going to go to dpkg. And then inside of dpkg, you're going to go into updates. And then if there's anything inside of here, you're going to have to delete it no matter what it is. It doesn't matter, just delete it. And then once it's deleted, Basically, all you're going to have to do on your iDevice is simply respring. Now, this works for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, and I'll be back once my device is... So, I'm back and my device has successfully resprung, and now I'm just going to prove that Cydia actually works. So, I'm just going to go ahead and speed this. Okay, so as you can see, my Cydia is uh, refreshed, and so far, so good. Now, it's successfully loaded up, and after it's done downloading packages, it's going to have to refresh the data. So this is as far as I'm going to go, and I guarantee you this will work 100%. And again, this video was made possible by Legit Jailbreaks. He's really helping me out, guys, and he's giving me a lot of cool and useful advice and just amazing things. So go check out his channel. I'll put a link to that in an annotation and in the more info box below. So make sure you check him out and subscribe. And this is ICU2 signing out.